Hey folks, welcome back to Star Tropics. Last time, well, we made it to chapter 6 and here we are in, you know, first dungeon of it, so let's see how we go. Uh, if memory serves, this is where things get difficult. If, if you didn't think the game was difficult before, it almost certainly is now. Uh, we have some different colored snakes there who don't seem to do a lot. Oh yeah, and this is a new thing we get. So we pick this up and Mike's shirt becomes, you know, like a brownie orange for some reason. I believe this lets us jump over two spaces. And so yeah, we can get to things. The game kindly gives us some hearts if we need them, which we don't. So we'll move on. And yeah, it's a room-only basis, I believe, anyway. I, it certainly was in that occasion. And we have some mummies who are, once again, differently coloured for some reason. They don't appear to be any different. <laughs> I don't really know what that's all about. Anyway, so far so good. Uh, I think there's going to be another one of those feathers in this room as well. Yep, there it is. We'll grab that. And now we have, yeah, interesting jumpy puzzles. Uh, we can get over here. Is there anything on these? Nope. Alright. Had to check. There's a dude here. Um, if we go down, that does nothing. Okay. Uh, where do we need to go then? I'm a bit lost actually. Hang on. So this is where we started. We go back down there, but that won't get us anywhere, will it? Let's take another quick look over here. There must be just something I'm not seeing. We can go down, but that doesn't get us anywhere. Does it? No. How do we get... Oh, 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 I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. I see now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if we go down here... Yeah, we can go up at this point. Yeah, and now we're getting somewhere. I'm just a dingus. Um... Get you. Alright, now how do we get over there? Not like this. Oh, oh, I see. Over here. Here we go. There we go. That's a pretty cool room. Oh, hello. Okay, let's just go for it. I was kind of caught off guard there. So these dudes are just going in a circle. And if they're happy to line up for me, which they are, we'll just be able to kill all of them by mashing on the B button. There we go. Huh, that has some hearts, which I will certainly take. And that's all there is in this room, okay. Whew, nearly messed that up. Hello, what's your deal? I don't really know, but okay. Oh! I see. What are you gonna do? Hopefully charge at me or something. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, this is basically- he's dead. That was basically the octopus boss from the second chapter. Uh, but... There we go. I was gonna say, we have no way to get over there. Now we do. I don't think this is the end of the dungeon, however. The victory music might be playing, but I bet you there's more. Or I might be wrong, and it might actually be the end. Nah, I didn't think so. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Get out of here, you little thing. Well, there's an obvious... obvious point to go in here. Ah! Okay, so there's an entry up there. Okay, I see what needs to happen here, I think. And then the switch was here. Yes. 
Okay, I see what's going on. <laughs> a heart, okay, fine. And some baseballs, <laughs> as you do. Hmm, so is that room optional? There must be something of use in here. That's three spaces, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Can we get down there, though, I wonder? Yes, we can. Aha! That's got to be the way to go. Oh, what the? Oh, this is a kill all an enemy's room. I just, yeah. You just, you use that and you kill them all and it's great. I don't think it actually kills them all, it just does damage. Like if we used it here, yeah, it doesn't kill those guys. So we don't really want to waste it, so it would be best to just... to just use our normal weapon. Okay... I, get, I guess the switch is up the other end. <laughs> Nearly got hit by that, that would have been silly. Yes! That is definitely what we want. <laughs> okay. Hey, come back. I need to kill you. There you go. I also need health. These shooty things are kind of annoying. You. Stop milling about. Anything on here? Nah. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I was waiting for the other one so I could jump over it. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Thankfully, they die quite quickly. Alright, no problems. We got this now. Sweet. I'm definitely not checking this room for switches, although I bet you there are some in there. Is. This is going decently well so far. Ah! He has a face! How do we beat this guy? Wait and see what he does. Oh, do we need these? I think we might need those. Yep, that'll do it. I remember this guy being a pain. Just keep lobbing baseballs at him. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Sheesh. That was actually pretty close. I wasn't seeing how much damage he was doing exactly, but we made it in the end, so that's good. And, as usual, well, we've done it. Now, I remember this area being of some particular interest. So, there's a maze, but um, there is something useful here. I think this might be the way we need to actually go, I can't remember, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, probably, huh? Let's see. Yep, that was completely a waste of time, alright. Maybe this isn't the area I'm thinking of. Oh, uh, no, I think it is. Um, yeah, down those stairs is a heart container, I think. Up here is an important thing. Let's go and try to find that heart container first. Uh, okay, so there's a whole nother section to this, it looks like. So if we go, yeah, if we go to the right, there should be a way to get to that sort of middle section. Let's try this. This looks right. Okay, that looks to be... not what we need. Yeah, okay, so this whole section is unnecessary, so then we want to keep going right in that case. Let's try this one, this has got to be it. Mm, that's not right, it must be here. 
Aren't these mazes just so exciting to look at? Anyway, down these stairs. Good old heart container. Now, there is a something of interest about this heart container. And it's a bit of a glitch, actually. Uh, all I'll say is there is a way to get this heart container again. If it comes up, I'll explain it. Yeah, well, I guess I'll explain it even if it doesn't come up, but if, if it comes up, I will show it, is what I mean to say. But for now, we'll head back to where we were before. Now we come back here to see this big old rock. What is this big rock? It's a good question. Curious? So for now we have no idea what that's about. But we head in here to, guess what, another dungeon, yay, let's do it. Now if I remember right, there's nothing up this way, and we need to go this way, yeah. <laughs> I think going up there it just leads to a dead end eventually, like you have to fight a few enemies. So we want to go this way. Now I remember this dungeon sucking. Because I think this is the last dungeon of this chapter, and I remember this one being a real pain, so we'll see how we go. I expect horrible things. Oh my, that is... okay, um... hmm. Just kind of go around those, yeah. Uh. Don't ask me why there's swords coming out of the ground, but there are. Ooh, this! So if we throw this... It is supposed to split in two, but... There we go, you press... So, you press B to throw it out, then you press it again to split them. Which is pretty neat. There's probably nothing on those. Ooh, more of this. Uh, we'll take those two stars. This looks like it's gonna be annoying, but let's see how we go. Let's start this moving. There we go. Go! Okay, we just made it. And some flies. Yeah, I knew you were gonna come at me, buddy. Come on. Ah, you are such a pain. There you go. I'm guessing there's something here, though. Yes, there is. Ooh, two ways to go, huh? Why don't we try this way first, since we had to kill the enemies to get in here. Looks like I made a good decision. Although I don't need these hearts, but let's see if there's something else. I'll just grab those. Nothing. Alright, that's fine. So I guess we need to go upwards then. Wait, I already killed you guys. <laughs> okay. More bats. Oh boy. Yeah, I wasn't getting out of that one, was I? Ooh, what do these guys do? I don't know. And those spotlight things look a bit scary. I remember them doing something bad, but I don't remember what that is. So we'll see if we get hit. Ooh. I remember there being a secret in here, in this sort of area. So we can jump here. I think there's a secret over there. I think. Um, although... Can we even get over there? Now if we jump there, we'll die. There might be a fall through the floor spot around here. Just check every tile. Um... No, nothing, huh? I... hmm. I'm not gonna jump over there. So there must be something here. And this does nothing? Um, I'm a bit lost, because I feel like this is the way we need to go to progress. Let's check over here once more. Maybe there's like... Maybe you can hit the wall? I seem to remember some things. This is not one of those things. Huh. 
I don't want to try jump. Ah, there it is. There's a walkthrough spot. Now, I think if we go over here. There we go. Yes. Now, let's see if there's a way to open these. That is much appreciated. I, I remembered that being there. And there we go. There it is. So, onward. <laughs> Man, that walkthrough spot was tough to figure out. <laughs> okay. So we're pretty well prepared here. Oh, there's this guy. I remember this guy being annoying, but if we're careful, we should be able to deal with him. Just beat the crap out of him. There we go. Oh, hello. A live sign. No thank you. I'm happy with my current amount. Uh, all sorts of things in here. Nothing on that one. Curious. You know, that might mean there's something on there. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. The same room, but different. Well, I've got an alternate solution for this. Ooh, that doesn't go all the way. Think you can trick me, game? Ha ha! Oh my! Oh! These rock dudes, I think we can't hit them when they're like that. I think they have to hit a wall and then we can attack them. That seems to be the case, anyway. Okay, this is a bit much. Just throw spikes at them. Ow. Okay. They're very generous with the resources at the moment. Ah, more rock dudes. Oh, lots of rock dudes. Okay, this is fine. This is not a problem, I hope. Gotcha. I think if you jump the second they hit the wall, you'll dodge the shots they shoot out. What is with these things? Okay, careful, careful. Let's just get the heck out while we can. What's your deal? Guess we're not gonna find out. Oh, more of them. More of those weird spotlighty things. Ow. Oh, I can't attack, I see. Yep, can't attack at all. Alright, so that's what those do. I knew they did something bad. Ah, well, on the plus side, they don't damage you. They're just quite annoying in that regard. Stop it, please! I'm guessing these guys do a ton of damage if they hit us, because they don't seem to do a whole lot else. Okay, I nearly probably died, I don't know. Whew. Oh, there's nothing here. There's got to be a secret passage or something then. Otherwise, I don't see the point of this room, unless we can actually attack these things. No. Is this just a trap? Ah, there we go. What's this, though? Oh, we could jump down. Wow, I'll take it. There's probably a way into there, though. Uh, if, if we would have come from the prior room, maybe, if we the, there was a secret wall spot there, I guess. Regardless, we're doing really well. Oh, two of these guys, okay. Okay, just take it slow. Seems to be if they see you, they'll do that. Okay, okay, we need to get out of this spot. There we go. Nice. Next up, this guy. Alright. That can't be it. Mm, I think there's more. What the? 
Ah, this is what I remember. Oh! You jerk. I'm not really sure why I jumped forward there. I should have looked at the room before I made that decision. Anyway, now we've got some catching up on resources to do, because we are lacking in them severely at this point. Now, it was this room, wasn't it? Ooh, maybe... Oh, there we go. I was right. So, what's in here? Some of those? Okay. Ah, damn, we were doing so well. And we're gonna have to fight those dudes again, unfortunately. Uh, if we beat you again, will you give us something nice, perhaps? Nope, alright. You know what? Yeah, we don't even have to fight them. We can just walk straight on past, which works for me. Now, I think I'm just gonna use this health potion right away. Because, I mean, we have to fight some stuff anyway, and we're not at full health. So, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Hello! Uh, I'm not being careful enough. Nope, I'm really not. Okay, well now I'm down to this piece of garbage. Ah, jumped way too early. Okay. No, I don't think we're beating it this time. We've got nothing good. We've got 40 shuriken things. I don't even know what to call them, so I guess we'll try using those. So there was a red space where we started, so I'm thinking we have to jump off immediately. Oh god, look at this. This is how we're solving this. This is gonna work. Uh, I don't think that's... Really? Really? Seriously? No way! What the hell? Wow! I didn't think I would get through that dungeon on the first set of lives, let alone, like, only with one death. Jeez. Oh, that, that, I remembered that boss there that we just beat being way harder than that. It was just a matter of timing our jumps. Uh, so, before I go on, um, that heart container I was talking about earlier, there's a glitch with that where, if you run out of lives and get a game over and the shaman lady talks to you and all that, you get a game over, you start over with all your lives, if you leave the dungeon and go back to that heart container, it'll be there again. So you can actually use that to get up to full hearts, which is kind of hilarious. But, uh, I believe this is a rather important story bit coming up. If, I, if we are where I think we are, which I think we are. <laughs> that was a good series of sentences. Yes. Guess who it is? It's Uncle Steve! After all this time, we found him! It only took most of the game. Apparently, we don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I know, we just kind of did it. Yep, so that was the big rock we saw earlier. Yeah, here's where things get a bit interesting. No, I think it sort of made sense-ish a little bit. <laughs> so, if you've been wondering where the star part of Star Tropics comes into this game, this is this is where it comes into the game. Now, if we talk to him again, I think. 
Yeah. If you if you say no to this, I think he just repeats the story. But I love the phrasing "bananas out of areas." Again, the 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 recurring joke is back. That's just a silly thing. Anyway, yeah, this is where the star part of Star Tropics comes into things. It's not really much of a shock that there's aliens, because I mean the game's been kind of hinting at it the whole time. Well, we head on. And we reach chapter 7! So guess what? We're gonna leave it there for now because we are getting kind of closest to the end now, which is crazy. But yeah, this is where things are gonna start getting tough, believe me. Th these last two chapters, there's only two chapters left, this one and chapter 8. They are not easy, oh man. Especially the last one, that'll be fun. Anyway, we'll get to that next time, so for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.